few months ago, uh, Hornady introduced that they was going to bring into production the 17 Hornet cartridge, which uh, that little cartridge has been a wildcat for many years. A PO actually worked with it a whole lot uh, several decades ago. Basically, the 22 Hornet cartridge case, neck down to 17 caliber, blown out to a more modern taper, give a little more powder capacity, and uh, it's just a dandy little cartridge. We'll look at it here, and uh, it's slightly shorter. The overall case length than is the uh, 22 Hornet by just a little bit but it's made so they can have the bullet sticking out there a nice long V-Max bullet like in this. This is a 20 grain bullet. Uh, Hornady advertised it coming out of here out of the barrel at 3650 feet per second and they're right because I clocked mine 10 feet from the muzzle at 3653 average and the main thing I really like about it it's uh, accurate. It's just a uh, superbly accurate little cartridge and I've been using it in this Savage Model 25 walking varmeter. Now the walking varmeter is their version of the uh, their lightweight varmeter that has the polymer stock which I like. It's a lighter weight by about a pound and a third under what the uh, laminated stock versions have and it's a good shooting accurate rifle. It's got a, a compact little action made for cartridges in the 223 class 22 Hornet class and now this 17 Hornet class. Uh, one thing I like about this action, it has a low bolt lift. So your knuckles ain't dragging on your scope when you're working the action. It's got a four shot detachable polymer magazine that feeds really smoothly. Works really well out of this. Uh, it's got a rotating bolt head on it. It's got a two position safety. Uh, back safe, forward to fire. And it's got Savage's wonderful accurate trigger. Uh, the trigger uh, lets you take advantage of the accuracy that's built into this rifle. You know, a, a, a good shooting rifle, if it's mechanically accurate, it does you no good if you got an eight pound trigger and you can't control the rifle to put the bullet where you want to. I've got this one adjusted down to about two and a quarter pounds. Works really well, real safe trigger, but it enabled me to shoot some uh, groups of this rifle as good or better than just about any groups I've ever fired in my life. I'm shooting off a Model 500 uh, Target Shooting Incorporating Rifle Rest. Uh, the recoil on this rifle is almost nothing. It's got a really good recoil pad, but uh, it's not needed, but it does keep your uh, the gun from slipping around on your shoulder. Recoil is just, uh, as I said, it uh, just don't bump your shoulder at all and enables you, when you're trying to shoot good groups off a bench, you can just barely hold the rifle and see what it'll do. I've got a Trijicon AccuPoint scope on here. This is a 5 to 20 power. Really clear optics. I love this scope. I can focus down about as close as 12 feet in front of the muzzle, out to however far I want to. Got a mill dot reticle, uh, target turret. Uh, some people might think that's a little bit of overkill for a rifle like this, but I don't. Uh, this rifle is built for shooting small targets at long range, and on prairie dogs or something like that, out to about 300 yards, it should be ideal. This scope uh, enables me to see what's out there. I can see a fly move on the target at 100 yards when I was shooting this yesterday. A really good rifle. It's got a 22 inch. Uh, carbon steel barrel on it with a recessed muzzle. Uh, we'll have some good pictures of that in the text review. But it's a, a nice rifle. It's from Savage. It's very affordable. This rifle MSRP I think is $567 as the date of this review which is a bargain. They'll sell for less than that but it's, uh, it's made to fire several cartridges and in this case it's shooting the dandy little 17 Hornet uh, from Hornady.